Hello friends, my name is Rohit and today I will be giving you a de demonstration of model Sigma SG24A. Uh, so you will be telling me that uh, uh, they uh, Sigma people already have a model called Sigma 24A. What is uh, a new about it? So this is a new model they have introduced with the same model number. They have discontinued their previous model and I will show you the difference also and all the details and the, even the demonstration of how to use this instrument. So uh, let's don't waste the time and start the demonstration now. So I've unboxed the instrument and let's see what we have inside the box. Firstly, this is the instrument. Uh, that's a connecting lead set. Here you can see you will get the batteries also and the instruction manual and that is a carrying case. Uh, let's start with the uh, description of it. What is the specification it have? So here is a model number SG24A and it is 4000 counts. DC voltage up to 600 volt DC. AC voltage up to 600 volt AC. DC current up to 10 ampere and AC current is also up to 10 ampere. Resistance up to 40 mega ohm. Capacitance, yes it has. Capacitance up to 4 millifarad. Frequency up to 4 megahertz and it's a true RMS, it, it, it have NCV that is called a non-contact voltage detection part, this Bakelite, diode checking and continuity and auto range and it's auto power off and there is another line which was not in the previous model that is full range is protection. So uh, here I have with me uh, the old model which uh, they were having and uh, let me show you what is the difference in both the model is so here it is uh, you can see uh, the old model was a small in size and it's a big in size the display is big uh, it uh, the new model doesn't have a temperature part and the old model has temperature part. Uh, the new model is having NCV it was not having NCV and uh, it has micro ampere also you can measure micro ampere of any circuit or something and it doesn't have the old model doesn't have the micro ampere part and it's a big in size and uh, it was all plastic model here you can see it's all plastic model and now they have upgraded it to a rubber hostler by side if it fell from your hand then it will be safe and that's a good thing what they have introduced in the new model and uh, I had also asked the Sigma people why uh, are you launching a new model because uh, this model was a stable model it doesn't have any uh, lag or something like that but uh, they told me that uh, now the people are uh, kept on asking to upgrade our model with a uh, uh, little bit big sizes and a uh, little bit more protection inside the circuits so they have introduced it and with the full range protection so uh, let's uh, keep this model at sight and uh, Let's start with the demonstration of uh, this new instrument. I put the batteries onto the new meter and here are the lead set. Uh, it's uh, black on the common part and red on the main voltage part. The First of all, I will con confirm you that uh, the lead set which Sigma people provide are of decent quality. I have seen a uh, few of the instruments like uh, any uh, reputed bank they are doing a great job in the multimeters part the lead set but they are providing are not up to the mark it's of a little bit lower quality uh, but in sigma case uh, you will get the lead sets also of a good quality so here it is i have uh, put the batteries onto it and uh, here you can see they have three buttons the select the range and the data hold plus the backlight so the backlight is quite sharp and you can see the results so here you can see it's a DC over there when we have and when we press select button it will show AC. So I have some batteries with me. Let's see uh, what is the result of it uh, and I am putting onto it. It's a fresh battery and it is showing around 9.6A. The negative sign shows I have connected the wrong side it. So here is the positive part. Uh, it's 9.6A. I have a another battery and it's a quite old battery with, with me and it is showing 6.26 so this is a 
low battery and old battery so the results are down and the results which are coming on the uh, screen are quite fast as compared uh, to the auto range uh, models which uh, most of the companies are launching so here when we press this button now it will go to the AC part and uh, let's see AC voltage onto it So it is not connecting properly now. Okay, now it is showing around uh, 220 volts AC plus 220 plus uh, point, uh, six volt it was showing. So it is fine and it is showing the true RMS values. Let's see now as the resistance part and uh, when we go on to the resistance, uh, uh, I have some resistance with me. Let's see what is the result we are having. Here is the resistance. It is uh, around 1 kilo ohm. Okay, it is going good. The results are coming fast. Uh, the results are coming in uh, inside 2 seconds. So for the auto range part, it is good. Now it is 100 ohm. And now we have another resistance with us. It will be around 10 kilo ohm. Let's see. Yes, it's showing good. So here's the another uh, next range is diode and the continuity part. For diode, uh, it will be automatically, but for continuity, you have to press this select button. So let's see. Yes, the sound is quite good. You can hear it. Um, uh, the continuity part, the buzzer is quite loud and you can hear it. And here is the next thing, here is the capacitance range. For measuring the capacitance, do always remember, you have to measure capacitance, uh, cap any capacitor sh should be discharged before connecting onto it. So if uh, the capacitor is not discharged, you can use a screwdriver, the help of screwdriver, you can short both the points of capacitor. It is discharged, then you can uh, measure the capacitance value of this multimeter otherwise it will be uh, it will burn your multimeter any of the brand may whether it's uh, uh, the normal multimeters whether it is a costly instrument any charge capacitor will destroy your multimeter to do kindly always remember this before using it okay next it is frequency let's see the frequency uh, of this uh, ac frequency it is showing around 49.6 so normally 50 hertz is coming onto the home part it is now ncv that stand for non contact voltage detection so let's see it is so it is detecting the ncv part and now we have the current part so for the current part i will uh, show you how to go with it so for the current part do remember they have given clearly that if you want to measure micro ampere or the milli ampere part the lead set should be like this see it's written over here micro ampere and the milli ampere if you are measuring these two ranges then lead set will be this if you are going on to the ampere part you have to change this red lead set to this part the common will be the same so I have an old battery uh, with me let's see uh, what is the value of it and it is into DC only if to if you want to uh, check the AC then you have to press it it's, it's AC then it's to DC so here I have an old battery this was an old battery let's see what is the current is having It is around 3000 microampere so it's an old battery it doesn't have any current it's into microampere so the new battery should be having a current into the ampere part so we will disconnect this wire and put it onto the 10 ampere part 
and let's see what is the current it is having. So it's around one ampere of the current it this old uh, this new battery is having. So this is it uh, onto this uh, demonstration of this new true RMS uh, 24A model. So uh, if you have any doubt, any question, you can uh, write it down in the comment section box. I will uh, duly uh, guide you or tell you uh, all about it. And uh, uh, I have also opened this instrument and uh, the circuit is quite good as compared to the, DC, uh, the old model. Both the circuits are good. Uh, but uh, due to the small in size and the uh, people were asking about a bigger size, a bigger handling thing. So they have launched a new model. It is also true RMS. You can go for it. And uh, if you have any doubt, you can write it in the comment section box. Do like and subscribe my channel. If uh, I will be coming with more of my videos. Till then, bye bye. Thank you.